Here's your field down for the second race. The two-year-old Philly Trotters, $4,443 at stake here. This race sponsored by Molly Monuments. Number one is Brittany Renee, owned by Gene Prather of Huntsville. Trained by Rick Prather, Rick Prather will drive. Two is It's a Sweet Deal, owned by Ron and Carol Cox of Huntsville. Ron Cox trains, and Matt Cox will drive. Number three is L.B. Windy, owned by Ken Buck of Denison, Iowa. Bob Newman trains and will drive. Number four, the undefeated Philly, Missy's Angel, owned by Ron and D. Phillips of Petersburg and John Carver of Rock Island. Mike Rogers trains and drives. And number five is Soup Bone Janice, owned by Margaret Marino of Joliet and Margaret Decker of Atwater. Bob Decker trains and drives. Brittany Renee, Rick Prather, it's a sweet deal. Matt Cox, L.B. Wendy, Bob Newman. Missy's Angel, 10 for 10, almost $13,000 on her card. Exclusively at the Illinois County Fairs. And Soup Boat Janice and Bob Decker on the outside. Two-year-old trotting fillies in our second race at the head of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and trotting. L.B. Wendy's away well on the outside. Missy's Angel. Those two race into the first turn. L.B. Wendy along the rail. Missy's Angel on her right as they trot over towards that quarter mile marker. Now, Missy's Angel, 10 for 10 in her career, has made the front by half a length. L.B. Wendy second on the inside. Brittany Renee's trotting third. It's a sweet deal is back there fourth. And Soup Bone Janice is fifth. As we race towards the quarter mile marker, Missy's Angel, the speedy primo filly, has made the top by a length and a quarter from Mike Rogers. L.B. Wendy is still back there second. Brittany Renee's trotting the third. First quarter was in 34 and one-fifth of a second. It's a sweet deal. Is back there fourth and Soup Bone Janice, the trailer, as we trot around the upper turn the first time. Missy's Angel leads by two and a half lengths. L.B. Wendy still there second. Brittany Renee's third first to pull. It's a sweet deal. Starts to move on the outside for Matt Cox, followed by Soup Bone Janice. We're in the lane for the first time. Missy's Angel, one of the top two-year-old Illinois bred fillies this year, still undefeated, leads by two lengths. L.B. Wendy sets there second. It's a sweet deal, third on the outside, the half in 107 and three-fifths of a second. Brittany Renee with the leaders fourth. Soup Bone Janice only four back, fifth on the outside with cover and moving up for Bob Decker. As this field has stayed flat past the 5 8 mile marker, they race towards a three-quarter pole. It's Missy's Angel on the inside. Here comes It's a Sweet Deal up on the outside now, only a half a length back for Matt Cox. L.B. Wendy's also right with the leader. Soup Bone Janice moves up fourth on the outside, and Brittany Renee's fifth on the end. Three-quarters in a 141 flat. And now Missy's Angel just shifts gears a bit and opens up a length and a half on the field. It's a sweet deal. Drops back a bit on the outside. L.B. Windy coming on a bit on the inside. And Brittany Renee will now sweep three wide for Prather at the head of the stretch. But the battle's for second here, folks. Missy's Angel's about to put this field away and remain undefeated for Mike Rogers. Here's one of the top fillies in the state, folks. Missy's Angel undefeated 11 for 11 in her career. L.B. Wendy will be second. Brittany Renee followed by It's a Sweet Deal and Soup Bone Janice. The third win here at the Brown County Fair for Ron and D. Phillips and trainer driver Mike Rogers. Ron Phillips, former sheriff over at Petersburg, the Maynard County Sheriff for many years. Went on to work for the Federal Marshal's Office in the Central District of Illinois. Him and his wife, D. trained about a a dozen standard breads at the Illinois State Fairgrounds, and they've got some good ones, folks. Let's give them a big hand. Ron and D. Phillips, Mike Rogers, the undefeated Missy's Angel, 11 for 11, now a winner of over $15,000 this summer, racing exclusively at the county fairs. John Miley, trackside to make the trophy presentation on behalf of his Miley Monuments to the connections of this fine filly. And let's get a word with Mike Rogers, our winning trainer driver. Mike, you had the heavy favorite, the odds-on favorite in that race. Going down the back stretch to the three quarters, some of those fillies started coming to you. I heard some oohs and ahs in the grandstand because I think a lot of folks had bet on here Philly 
did you ever get as nervous as some of the rest of us did? Oh, no. She, she uh, saw Matt coming. She picked up a little more. I tell you, a lot of times that's all it takes, especially with a filly like that. A lot of horses, folks, they actually love the thrill of competition. As soon as they sense another horse is coming, it kind of takes something like that to wake them up. Now, regarding the state fair, <laughs> we told the folks about this last night. You have to make a $300 payment by April 15th to go for the big $60,000 final. Now, that payment was not made on this filly, so she's not eligible for the big race, but that's not your fault or the Phillips's fault because the folks that owned that filly bought her the last week of June. She was in somebody else's barn when it was time to make the payment. Now, we do have the Director of Agriculture, Chuck Hartke, here tonight. We've got Tex Motes, who's the Bureau Chief for County Fairs and Horse Racing at the Department of Ag. I'll tell you what I did for you, Mike. I went over there to where they're sitting this evening, and I said, guys, this is a real nice filly, and Mike would like a shot of that $60,000 purse. So I asked the director and Tex, I said, why don't we just say there was a clerical mistake in the office, an oversight, and you know what they did? They smiled real big and they told me to get lost. <laughs> now, having said all of that, there is a race for this filly at Springfield, isn't there? Yeah, the Isoba. Now, that's the Illinois Standard Bread Owners and Breeders Association race. It's $5,000 instead of 60000 But, Mike, if she wins that, it's 2500 to win. That's not all bad either, so we're going to wish you best of luck. Thank you, Kurt. Mike Rogers, folks, our winning trainer driver. So, Ed, we talked about that last night. If the uh, payment isn't made in April, uh, there's no looking back. But, uh, but, but to be fair, the filly was in somebody else's barn, so there was nothing they could do about it. But you're right. She will be at the state fair. She'll just race in the Isoba race, and I'll bet she'll do real well there. Ed?